welcome back to engineering graphics class today session we will discuss how to solve the problem using solid edge software and the topic is a projection of planes the problem number 48 okay let me discuss the question a circular lamina of 50 mm diameter rest on hp such that one of its diameters is inclined at 30 degree to h vp and 45 degree to hp draw its top and front views in this position okay, first we will draw the xy line and then uh, use the text the one side you can write capital x and other side capital y and above xy line vp and below xy line hp and next year to get the circle we can uh, use the circle option here Cir uh, circle by center point and change the line to visible line okay here the given the circular lamina it is resting on hp we have to keep this circle in hp and the diameter they given 50 enter 50 and then keep the circle in horizontal plane and then so your circle uh, we need to divide the circle into normally we can divide to uh, 4 8 or uh, 16 part so 8 is optimum uh, to divide it we have a circular pattern option before that first we need to draw a, a normal line from the center to the periphery like a radius we have to draw one line and then go to select option select this just select this line and then go to pattern option your rectangular pattern if you click the down pull menu we can get the circular pattern option select the circular pattern option and then first we need to click the center so click the circular circle center and then here number of count we need eight count so select the eight and angle so throughout the circle we want so that's why we need to enter 360 degree and then finish it so now it is divided into eight part and then naming so we can give you a this is b and here C, D, E, F, G, and H. And then we can show the dimension of uh, the circle diameter 50. And to get the front view, we need to draw the uh, projection line from all the, the whatever the division we made uh, to the XY line and then the front view will be straight line and that can be drawn with the visible line okay now the front view got we can zoom this one to get the proper view okay and then coming to the naming here so this is only one a is here so we can write a dash and this point b and h is there b is first so b dash of uh, h dash and then here c dash of uh, g dash and then here d dash of f dash and the last e dash and then here uh, we can keep the naming in the proper position next step now they give one diameter is inclined uh, 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP so in second step we have to make the HP inclination so always we are making the HP inclinations so we need to second step we have to make the HP inclination because the problem is started from HP so we have to take the HP inclination here uh, to do that we can uh, we need to measure this length because it is needed for uh, to find out this B dash H dash and D dash F of F dash the length 50 because it is the uh, same of the diameter it is 50 and the inclined to hp they give one 45 degree so here we have to kick it uh, click it we need to click it and then uh, give the length 50 and then enter the angle 45 degree and uh, show the angle by using angle command option we can show the angle 45 degree and now go to arc by center point and take the a dash center here and uh, the radius we can give 7.32 and then draw the arc 
and same way go to the e dash and give the same radius 7.32 and draw the one more arc to get the d dash of f dash now go to move option switch on the copy and keep move the naming see here the first a dash and this is a b dash of h dash and the midpoint we are getting c dash of uh, g dash and this arc d dash of f dash and then here e dash and then to get the to top view go to line a normal line so from the a dash we have to draw the projection line till here to get the a and same from uh, b dash of h dash so we can drop to here to get the b dash to here b we will get the b then then midpoint get the c dash of uh, g dash here then we can get, drop to here to get the c and join back here so this point will be c and then same way from here to get the d can draw it and now for the e we can get now your h and f first h we are getting h over here we can drop to here because h dash is here and then f we can further extend so we can get the f here and then last g so g at the midpoint line here you can draw it so like this we got all the points before joining it uh, first we will move the namings a this is b c d e f g and h okay this one we can draw by ellipse option uh, go to ellipse by three points the first point you click it on the uh, before we can change the line to visible line and from a first point you click it and then second point on the e and third point you can click it on g so directly we can get the ellipse over here after drawing that ellipse go to line normal line because we need to draw the lines from a to e because it will be used in next step h to uh, d and then f to b then g to c okay. now same here the diameter is inclined because the ae diameter is passing over here so that's why we entire plane if inclined 45 degree diameter itself be also become inclined to hp 45 degree and now for the last step uh, the diameter is inclined 30 degree to vp so go to line normal line first we will draw the 30 degree line minus uh, 30 and you can show the angle 30 degree here and the th problem is here in the diameter first step to the second step the diameter length is changed here it is 50 and here it is become 35.36 so we need to find the beta angle now to how to find the beta angle go to arc by center point take the this intersection point as the center first we need to draw the actual diameter 50 take radius 50 and then draw the arc and then draw the locus line from the intersection of this point draw an horizontal line locus line go to line and draw the locus line here after that again go to arc by center point and take the same center and now we need to give the radius of apparent uh, diameter that is uh, 35.36 enter and then draw the arc and then go to line normal line draw the line from the center through the intersection point and extend the line parallel to this and we can get the angle that is a beta angle so this angle should be 45 we are getting it now on this beta angle we need to place this ae so now go to move option switch on the copy select the circle uh, this ellipse and then select the three uh, sorry four lines what we drawn here and then pick from a either you can pick from a or you can pick from e so i will pick from a pick it and place it on the beta angle line and then go to rotate option while rotating 
make sure the copy option should be switched off and select the ellipse and select the lines and make a fixed point and then this e rotating point and make sure it should be come on that bit angle line and next go to move move the namings this is a this is the h and then g f e d c b now the final step to get the front view we need to draw the projection lines from here to one by one a a dash is on the x y line you can drop to here now then b b dash is we are getting on this line so you can draw the line up to here and we will get the b and then c uh, c dash is here we can get the c over you and then d so d we are getting here d dash you can join up to here and then e e at the last step so you can draw up to here to get the e and then f so f is here so you can draw up to here and then g so easily you can use the alignment indicator option to get the lines joined by one by one so instead of uh, drawing all the lines and uh, after trimming it we can avoid that steps and here h h dash okay finally we got all the points and before uh, joining we need to give the namings for it so we can avoid the confusions you have got first a dash and then uh, this one is uh, b dash then this is c dash and then uh, this one is a uh, d dash e dash f dash this one is g dash and then last h dash okay now we got all the points go to now to join this we can uh, use the curve option go to curve option and say take the visible line and before starting this we need to one change the one settings that is go to tools and change the maintain relationship switch it off it and after that go to arc and from a you start it from a dash to b dash c dash d dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash and back to a then right click it after that you can reactivate it so don't forget to reactivate it okay now it is uh, completed the last before taking the printout switch off the copy option move option you can keep the namings uh, properly so as each and every program i used to say this uh, so keep the namings in a proper position it should not be overlap so it is uh, free from it and uh, keep it in a, a proper positions so the drawing will be look nice and you can get the good marks and it should be easily readable that is also one uh, rules we need to follow because if you naming and if it is not able to see it properly then what is the use of uh, giving the naming so that's why we have to keep those things you know properly okay now completed